Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we're going to try something fun. I decided to jump and get the three Jinhao ED2 fountain pens and these are the ones that look very similar to a Sailor fountain pen. So these came from Amazon and it's supposed to come with a set of converters as well. You get three pens for about $20 and they have four different colorways of three pens. The one I got is like the light pastel and they call it online the Morandi Gold Trim. So these are fountain pens that are stainless steel and I'm going to compare them to some of my sailors so you guys can get an idea. We'll see how they write. And um, I'm really curious because I've seen mixed reviews on these pens. They are really inexpensive in comparison to what they compare to. Uh, but I wanna see how terrible or how great they actually are. So let's get started. They will arrive uh, depending on the type of um, the colorways that you get. They can arrive like same day or next day or in two days. So I got these because this colorway because I felt like they were the prettiest and hopefully inside they have a converter. So there's a the pastel blue and they are rather see-through as you can almost see the nib inside. A pastel green. They do not have any type of logo on the finials. And then we have the pastel purple. Um, so they all have gold trim and they have the flat tops, which is similar to the Sailor Pro Gear. Uh, and they're all pretty miniature. The, they do have the logo of Jin Hao on the belly band here. They're pretty lightweight. And you have the option to choose between fine, extra fine, or medium nib only. The nibs are rather small. They look like a number five nib and not like a number six. But we also look at the sailors and how it looks on the sailors. Okay, so let me open them up just to see. So we do get a converter. In all of them. And I'm going to pick three inks. I want to ink them up and test them out. Okay, so I decided to go with Sailor inks. I'm choosing Yonaga, Neo, Samir, and... 370. They kind of look like this in color, so very matchy matchy. Because why not?
Okay, so inking them up was very simple. I find that the converter actually worked uh, like seamlessly with pulling the ink. There wasn't any issues there. Sometimes with sailors, I do get issues with having to twist the converters because the converters are really, they just don't work as well as some of the other like international converters. So before we get started on writing, I wanted to show some comparisons with some real sailors. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, and this is probably the most comparable sailor um, to the Gen Hao 82. And then this is a Sailor Pro Gear, which is slightly larger than the Slim and a little bit girthier. And yeah, you could tell with the finials, it, the finial is a bit bigger and um, a little wider. And then um, these pro gears are more of what it looks similar to. So, you know, lifting them up, I would say the weights are pretty accurate. Looking at the nibs, the sailors have bigger nibs, uh, but, um, oh, and it seems like they don't have as much of a grip section. The sailors grip section, grip section is a little bit shorter than the Jin Hao's. And then, yep, the feed is bigger. But I feel like the weight is pretty comparable. The size is pretty comparable. It's just the nib size. Um, these are a little bit smaller. And um, even the trim of the gold and where it sits, it's pretty similar. Now sailors do have like two belly bands. So that's a big difference. And then it will say Sailor Japan 1911 inside. Now, if I were to compare this to the Pro Gear, it's just a like a larger version, slightly larger version. And even the nib is also quite large as well. So, the nibs are completely different, and you can see in length, there is a big difference here as well. Also, the Sailor Pro Gears have a 21 karat nib, gold nib, and then the Sailor Pro Gear Slims have a 14 karat gold nib. So, that's also a difference. Um, the nibs are gold, whereas the Gin House are steel, stainless steel. And I did get a fine in all of them. Too bad that they don't offer like a fine, medium, and a extra fine or broad. That would be nice, especially if you are uh, wanted to try these out to see if they would work for you as... Uh, you know, to see if you like the shape and the, the way it feels. I want to say it's probably going to be pretty close to um, a sailor. So this could be an option if you're not sure if you want to spend uh, a larger amount of money on a sailor and want to try something a little bit less expensive but very similar to see if you would like it. So it's actually quite smooth. <laughs> it's actually, it feels good. It's not, um, the ink flow is good. Well, let's see. This one is 
your naga. Shikiori. It is a fine. Um, and this is the blue. Jinhao. It's actually really comfortable and it's not as feedback uh, feedbacky as you would get with a sailor. So yeah, I think each one is slightly different. This is the Nioi. I'm not sure if that's one word or two. So this pen writes a little bit differently than this one. This one was smooth and you could see the ink come out. This one is kind of dry and I think I might be able to, I think it's because the tines are really tight. So I might need to make an adjustment there. Yeah, it's, I think it's the tines that are really tight causing it to be a little bit more dry because this ink is not dry. And let's see, the same for this one. It's, it feels a little dry. But it is comfortable to hold. And I think all I need to do is to um, use one of my shims and to kind of widen the uh, tines between in the middle to allow for more ink to flow through. Okay, so I made some tweaks, you guys. I used my 30X loop. I got this from Pen Chalet. I have a link below um, to Pen Chalet if you are a new customer. But I use this just to see, make sure like there's nothing wrong with the nib, that the tines aren't like off or anything, like up or down, um, just to make sure that they're straight. Um, so nothing wrong with my tines. Um, and then I have like this little set here, which is... Um, <laughs> clear box that I got from a previous fountain pen, the Moon Man. And I like to keep these. Uh, I started keeping like my Twisby ones because you always get like the extra wrench and silicone grease. But this one was a little bit wider and one of the most recent ones I've kept for a while. Um, so I have my mesh and then I have my shims and I use my brass shims to um, kind of like Pull the tines a little bit, kind of separate them just a little, nothing too uh, extreme because I don't want them to just burst open and stay like that. Uh, I also have a syringe for if I need to fill any of these or clean them out. And I usually keep a few of these extras after I use them or I'll save some of the extras and then empty them out or uh, and refill them with some, a different ink using my syringe. I also have this guy, which I got from Ackerman, yeah. Um, oh, it's the Ackerman brand, but I got it from Gold's, no, uh, the shop in, in England. Uh, I can't 
think of the name, but I got this a few years ago and I think it's the polish or something, but I've been using it for my inks and it has like a couple layers. Um, so I just keep that in here and then silicone grease, some extra, uh, converters, a platinum cartridge, things like that. Um, so I find that this comes in handy and having a place to put all your like your um, your pen care supplies in one location. I know I have like a bunch of other like nibs and things like that that don't fit in here. And uh, I just put that in another central place that I can go look at. Usually my acrylic drawers have them. And so, yeah, I've, uh, I keep everything in here, but this is like my go-to when I'm trying to fix a nib. And I think that they write better. So I'm going to show you how they write now. And I did not touch the blue one because I felt like it was writing exactly how I prefer. But I did make some adjustments to the green and purple. So let's just title this. And it took me literally seven minutes, like nothing extreme. Um, so the purple one was writing quite weird and dry. You can see it's definitely a lot more, um, there's like a shimmer to the ink. So it's a little bit more inky. I am not applying pressure, so it's definitely coming out with a lot more ink. Um, I did run it a little bit under my mesh because it seemed like it just had a weird angle uh, on the, the um, with the nib. So... And then by widening, yep. Oh, that was my fault. So it's definitely running better. And the green, you can see how much more ink is coming out. Now I did not put this under the mesh. I probably could. Put it under the mesh. Just to kind of make it not so wonky. But it definitely writes a lot better. So just some tweaking on my part. Um, obviously, in any case, when you're buying a new pen, you don't want to have to do anything to the pen. But uh, these pens are not expensive. Overall, pretty reasonable. You can get three in a pack. They even sell them individually. I don't know if they sell them individually in these colors. But... Uh, you can buy some individually. They do have a bunch of colors, so definitely check them out if you're interested. I, you know, this isn't sponsored or anything, but I do find that it's a pretty good deal. And um, especially if you're unsure if you're ready for a sailor, since they can be very pricey. I will say the only difference is that they're not as feedbacky as a sailor. 
Sailor has a lot of feedback. It writes more like a, people always say like a pencil. I wouldn't say it's as rough as a pencil, but you could definitely feel like you have more control. It's not going to glide uh, like some fountain pens where you feel like you can lose control, especially on fountain pen paper. So that's one of the things about a sailor. Um, these are more like any other Jin Hao pens. They write like, they just, they write like any inexpensive fountain pen. So generally smooth, like they don't have any distinction of uh, being more of like a, like a sailor, I guess you could say. Um, so anyway, I do like him so far. Um, I think some of my concerns are that uh, pens that are inexpensive, will they leak? So will the ink start to leak through the, uh, the nib and then kind of dirty up the pen cap? That's one of my concerns. Also, another concern is will it leak on my fingers whilst I'm writing like over time? Um, how does the converter stand up over time? And uh, will they will they uh, break? <laughs> so it is like a plastic material, and I wonder if they will crack here if you turn and t uh, cap them too tightly. Uh, as uh, sailors have been known to crack, if you like put too much pressure, if you put them in a case that is too tight or has a lot of fountain pens, they can crack on the nib. So I wonder if that is something that will happen very easily with this Jin Hao or not, but I think it's worth testing out and just taking some time to see how they perform over a, uh, a period of time. So the clips are really, well, I think it kind of depends. They may not all be pretty. They're pretty stiff. And sailor clip is, it gives a little bit more than these, but I don't really use the clips um, to clip onto my onto my clothing. I use them for clipping onto my bags uh, or my pouches. So, but I guess they work. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys found this useful and informative. And if you bought one, let me know in the comments below and which colors you got. I would be interested to know that and then how you like them. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.